A while back I created a video on how to try and prevent the text pop-out icon from appearing in your responsive design e-learning courses that you've created with Adobe Captivate 2017. Uh, you should be able to watch that video by clicking this link here if you're interested in seeing that. But it seems that not only are people uh, disagreeable with the existence of the text pop-out icon, but some people of course are uh, concerned about the appearance of the text pop-out icon as well. Um, so in this case here, uh, Piotra, uh, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Thanks for sharing your knowledge on your YouTube channel. I was wondering, did you know how to edit this text pop-out to get something nicer instead of the blue one? So I decided to do a little uh, investigation into that and to see if I could figure out how to edit that or change that. So looking into the Adobe Captivate files that were installed on my computer, uh, which can be found in Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Captivate 2017 X64, and in a folder called HTML Assets and HTML Images, I found the two icons in question. There's two versions of them. I'm assuming for uh, different sized projects. There's a 30 pixel square image and a 60 pixel squared image. So I made some copies of those. I created a backup of those that I'm storing on my backup hard drive. But I also then um, edited those files uh, and just stored some alternative versions of them on the desktop here. I went with a gray background instead of blue. I thought gray would probably match uh, a greater range of color schemes. And I chose an image of a book to represent, you know, that you could read this content. But of course, you are entirely free to use whatever image that you wish. Uh, the only uh, warning I'll probably give you at this point is just to make sure that they're the, the appropriate size and the appropriate format and named as the original uh, files are. So in this case, they're PNG files. Like I said, the smaller one is 30 by 30. The larger one is 60 by 60, and the uh, the name is expand underscore icon dot png, and the larger one is expand underscore icon at and 2x uh, dot png. So I'm going to um, paste those in. Now it's going to give me a warning here, and I may have to grant permissions because these are system folders that I'm working within. So I'm going to replace the two images there. So now you can see my new icons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an Adobe Captivate project uh, that I've set up just for this demonstration with lots of text uh, within the file itself. So we'll see that in just a moment. So here's that example file I was talking about. I just put a whole bunch of lorem ipsum text in place there, and we can preview this project and see what it looks like with a browser. Uh, the text is greater than, uh, than of course, even the, the space allows for desktop view. So we should see that icon. There it is. So there's my um, personalized icon. Again, you can use whichever type of icon that you want. Just make sure that it adheres to the same parameters as the original files. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.